Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using AI Dungeon for beginners in 2024. So are you ready to embark your journey on epic quests and create immersive narratives like never before? Today we're diving into AI Dungeon, which is an innovative like platform that uses artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence to generate interactive stories. Whether you are new to interactive fiction or a seasoned storyteller, AI Dungeon offers limitless possibilities for creative, uh, creativity and adventure. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access AI Dungeon. To do so, go and open whatever browser you want to use. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, just go to this URL section and basically here type AI Dungeon and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Click on this first link, which is aidungeon.com, and you will find yourself here. So first, of course, if you have an account by any chance, just go to the top right corner, click on sign in, and make sure to sign in into your account, as an example. So once you click on it, of course, now you'll have to click on your profile again in the top right corner, and from here, you'll be able to sign in into your accounts without any problems. You can even sign in with Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of uh, create or even login into your account. If you don't have an account, just click here on create an account and you can create with Google or Apple, same option. So I'll just choose Google here. I will just go to this option. And as you can see, by continuing, Google will share your name, email address, language preferences, and profile picture with AI Dungeon. And you can see uh, the AI Dungeon privacy policy in terms of service if you want to. So I'll just go here and click on continue as an example. Once you do so, as you can see, I'll be taken here and I'll be logged in into my account right away. So here, as you can see, once you're logged into your account, you are kind of ready. So first of all, here on home screen, as you can see, you'll find some recently like added uh, from top uh, creators. Uh, if you are following some, you'll be able to discover their content. Uh, you'll be able to see community favorites like uh, timeless classics. And of course, you'll be able to do a lot of things. So feedback requests, eyedrop, spring surprise, heroes. Here, as you can see, first of all, uh, on the free user, you will not have, as you can see, no problem uh, premium models, no basic AI speed, uh, no credit card, of course, required or credit purchase required, no expanded memory, and no advanced settings. If you get a better plan, of course, you'll get unlimited premium AI up to four uh, times faster AI speed, credits included as member bonus, and save more memory to improve your AI coherence. And of course, you'll be able to control advanced settings like temp, top K, and more. So as you can see, they have plans like Mythic Plan, Legend Plan, Champion Plan, Advent uh, Adventurer Plan. So each one of those options have its own features. So do whatever you want. Of course, for Adventurer and Champion, you'll be able to try it for free, as you can see here. And you can, of course, see complete details about that. And as I said, for Adventurer and Champion, you'll be able to try it for free, first of all. And if you like it, then you can start paying. If you didn't like it, you can just cancel everything out and you don't have to pay a penny. That's uh, one thing. Of course, another thing, as an example, here you have like, I'll just go back to the home screen, first of all, you'll be able to discover, of course, first of all, like some playable scenarios, as an example, if you want to play some, uh, readable ones, if you just want to read things, as an example, I don't know, a lot of people just would like to read. Uh, if you want to create your own, but before just creating your own, of course, if you want to play, you can just, again, go click on play at the top right corner. You'll be able to go quick start or even multiplayer if you want to play with other people. And even, as you said, if you want to create your own, you'll be able to click here on create scenarios. Here, here, if you click on create scenarios, for example, you'll be able to choose a template, of course, of a scenario that you want to create. So these templates help you set up a scenario that uh, you can play, of course, and share with others. So, do you want to create a random scenario, MC, fantasy, cyber prank, zombie, mystery, apocalyptic? As an example, let's say I want to create a zombie-like scenario. So, I'll just go in here and click on zombie. And basically, I'll have to start adding details for my, uh, like, story. Or if I'm going to do a game, of course, I'll show you even how. So, for example, opening, like, story, of course. Or you can choose multiple choice. Uh, option or you can even choose char uh, ch uh, character uh, like creator scenarios opens with the choice of characters or create a character so example for me i'll just choose a story so you'll have to choose like the opening story so as an example 
by, by default, there's here, you are a survivor living in zombie apocalypse, uh, you have a pistol and a backpack, you are like scavenging, scavenging for supplies when you hear noise behind you, and authors like notes, writes uh, like gritty, ominous, vivid prose, and etc. Of course, you can add some plots, components like memory, uh, band words, uh, third person, and as you can see, this is about plot, about story cards, of course, you can add characters, info, location, uh, faction, and more like class, race, location, fiction, and or custom. You can even do it auto-generated, example. You can name for class, just optional if you want to. The details, if you want to add any other details, for example, about your uh, thing that you're creating, like a picture, you can. You want to do a picture, you want to upload something from your own, and you want to like give it a, a better title, better description, give it some tags, uh, visibility, do you want it just to be private or enlisted or published to anyone who is uh, to have access to it and for not safe for work scenarios content contains not safe for work as example material and uh, will not be shown to users with safe mode activated so make sure uh, it's added and scripting of also this allow you to interact more with the gameplay inputs and do advanced text uh, like processing you can edit some scripts and you can even have the story card management as you can see this will allow you to import and export story cards if you want to and yeah like that's gonna be basically it's an example if you click on finish as an example so people will be able to play it if people click on play as an example so we'll just wait as you can see in here you'll be able to read things and you'll be able as an example take a turn what do you do as an example uh i will walk forward uh, until i find like until i find supplies as an example and click on that and let's see what we're gonna get as an example as you carry as you cautiously uh, step forward the crashing of the gravel under the boots uh, scoots through the abandoned streets the sun beats down etc so you can take a turn and then talk or you can try or you can continue as example you can erase you can go back you'll be able to play uh, you'll be able to do a lot of things and as i said if you didn't want to play as example your own you'll be able to be able to play other like uh, other people like things as example or just read it, do whatever suits you. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Of course, here you'll be able to collect some stuff, like skills, as they call it. And you can come back every day to collect like more each day, as an example. So this day, they give me 17. Tomorrow, if I come back, I'll get 13. And what can I use that for? As an example, you'll be able to get skills and those will be able to use in the game and even here to do multiple like stuff like to get like logos like to get some display stuff that will look good and yeah that's gonna be basically it so you'll be able to experiment with custom things here you'll be able to share your adventures by your own and yeah there you have it so a beginner guide on how to start with ai dungeon for interactive storytelling or even playing so First of all, with AI Dungeon, of course, you can unleash your imagination and create immersive narrative that captivates and inspire people. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.